Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to the Hunk Room Gaming channel and today we will be talking about Far Cry 5. Far Cry 5 starts the story about a uh, rookie deputy sheriff who is part of a task force along with the sheriff and a US Marshal to arrest the father of a group called PEG, Project Eden's Gate. Now Eden's Gate is this symbolic place where everybody gathers so they're safe during the collapse that's collapse with a capital C and they will be using that uh, as their reason for culling sinners basically anybody who's not a part of their cult is a sinner so it is religiously motivated but I don't think that the game is trying to make a uh, religious statement or a political statement with it because later on in the game you join a father who's a Christian preacher and he was the preacher at False Hope Chapel and False Hope Chap Chapel is one of the first places that you'll go try to liberate. And that church is basically the Christian church, right? With the father and so on. So it is not making a statement against Christianity. And it's not making a case for or against guns. The problem is that the game is ridden with bugs. There is a place where I will show you that there is a guy who I kill silently, silent takedown and his body disappears and then what I thought was a different guy appeared a little bit off to the side so I went killed him and all of a sudden a guy spawned right behind me I believe I killed the same guy three times before he stayed down and I had to shoot him it appears that I had to shoot him in, in order to basically win this unbearable unbeatable encounter with, with stealth because they just kept respawning for no reason. And those are not the only bugs in the game. Now the bugs are kind of mediocre and they should have been polished out. This is the fifth iteration of Far Cry and the sixth iteration of the Far Cry franchise on PC, including Primal, but not including standalone expansions. So I will say that they had a huge opportunity to fix a lot of the problems with previous Far Cry's. But one of the problems in Primal, for instance, is that you're constantly under attack by wild animals. And this is the same story that is in Far Cry 5. You're under attack by wild animals or you're uh, constantly dealing with unending response of enemies, those piggies. As they call them, the PEG, Peggy, get it? Oh, ho, ho, ha, ha, so creative. So you're constantly dealing with nuisances in this game. And the guns are basically nerf guns. They cannot penetrate engine blocks, which are cast iron at best, or cast iron. Most of them are aluminum. I, I know because some of them are Chevys and Fords. Anyway, so yeah, a Ford E250 is, is basically a tank. It can take about three or four clips inside the engine compartment before it starts smoking. Anyway, that's that's minor grievances. The main the main thing I find fault with is the story. It's in the middle of Montana and you're supposedly surrounded by mountains, but the game gives you airplanes, cars, boats. The only thing you don't have is a train. And seriously, you would get help. You would be able to get help. No problem. No problem. You can call in the National Guard from basically any station outside this county and you wouldn't have a problem with it. We could have tanks rolling into Montana with no problem. Or at least armored uh, personnel carriers, carriers, APCs. You wouldn't have a problem at all dealing with these guys. That's just hilarious. Uh, I, the premise is funny and it's not believable. You cannot get into the game. I like Far Cry Primal a lot. And I was hoping this game learned a little bit from the mistakes made in Far Cry Primal. And maybe improved on it and you're not un under this constant attack of basically throwaway npcs which the only reason for you to die basically fighting those guys is if you run out of bullets and so to me this game is just not interesting it is not interesting and and, and it breaks my heart to say so because i love the far cry franchise i mean far cry and fallout franchises have been my favorites for years for decades and my my uh, anyway i love the elder Scroll, scrolls series as well Th those are my three main franchises that I, I do enjoy to play so should you get this one um 
if you don't have Far Cry 3, maybe this one with the season pass is worth it because you get the remastered Far Cry 3. But to me, I would say no. Uh, hold off. Wait for it to go on sale and pick it up in the sales. My score for this one is going to be a, a 6 out of 10. I was going to give it a 5, but I can see someone getting enjoyment out of out of the game if you don't take it seriously. Well, not seriously, but if you don't take it as a, as a serious entertainment. The best way I can describe the game perfectly is if you've played Just Cause 3, this is it. This is Just Cause 3. It has the same mechanics. It has the same wacky just missions, side missions and stuff like that. It basically is Just Cause 3 in a different setting with, with a different premise. That That's all it is. They just decided to do it in the US and, and it's, it's really heartbreaking to have to say this about such a great franchise actually. So again, my last, my score, it has to be a 6 out of 10. That is mostly, and I'll explain my score. That is mostly because this is the sixth iteration of the game and they've had a lot of time to fix it and they're not a small studio and they've had public testing on other games on the same engine for at least four years. And it is disappointing that this is the best they could, they could come up with. This is an established franchise with a big fan base and they did a disservice to us. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time.